Hey y'all, this is a collaboration with Gigi's Creations and Grandma Sandy. So go check their channels out. Both of them are very, very creative and do great things, especially with Alice in Wonderland. This is my first time, so I hope you enjoy it. Be sure to check out their videos. Let's get started, guys. I'm so honored to be included in this collaboration. GG Creations. GG asked me if I would be in the collab. And at first I wasn't going to be because I didn't have anything that's Alice in Wonderland. But I took on the challenge. And so I decided first I was going to use my tea set. Tea set has a print on it. I'm going to show you. So I thought I can't have that in the theme. So I turned the cup around. And... It worked out perfect and I decided after that the first thing that I did after that was I said I need to make something but I wasn't sure what to do so but all the photos that I had looked at they all had mushrooms in them just about all of them and from the cartoon movie I guess and so I decided to make some mushrooms so I made some mushrooms for the table Well, I decided to use little umbrellas that you use in drinks. I had some somebody had given me, <laughs> and I didn't have any use for them, so I just put them away, and that's the first thing I thought of. I can use those little umbrellas, paint them, and make them into mushrooms, so that's what I did. And I turned, think they turned out pretty cute. And my granddaughter, I, didn't, I wasn't sure what to do. And she was telling me about the flowers and that the Queen of Hearts had tried to get Alice to paint the flowers. So I put one white flower in each arrangement and then the red and the pink. And on the flower arrangement, I put them in a vase. And I put Alice's name on the first one. And then as we move to the second one, I put Wonderland. A mushroom. And what would Alice in Wonderland be without some cake? So I bought this slice of cake. Because me and my son, we don't eat cake to bake a whole cake. And I think it was like two dollars and eighty cent or something so that is the only actual money that I spent on this tablescape was for the cake and I thought that was pretty good it's not that I didn't try because I went to the store and I looked I looked for anything that was Alice in Wonderland I looked for a cat I looked for a rabbit I couldn't even find a white rabbit and here it is around Easter time and could not find a rabbit and I couldn't find a hat, nothing that was Alice in Wonderland, not even little characters, not even toys. So I had to create my own. And I decided to use my white chargers, but I thought something is missing. I just don't know what's missing. What can I do to tie in that it's an Alice in Wonderland theme? Hold on, I'll show you what I did. All right, and this is what I came up with, clock plates. I had seen a picture of someone who had done a tablescape and they had plate. It wasn't in the place setting. It was just a clock plate that they had and it was very beautiful made out of china or porcelain and porcelain china and of course there was no way I was going to be able to find anything like that in such short notice. So I decided to create my own plates. I decided to take the plates, they were styrofoam plates, and put a clock on them. I took a magic marker and made the Roman numerals, and then I took acrylic paint and painted a border around it. 
to frame it. And I think it did very, very nicely. At the end, I'll show you the original one I did. It was so funny. But I think my tablescape came out pretty. And I couldn't find a bunny, so I used one I already had. And I found my father's pocket watch after much, much searching. And I was so excited that I found it for the tablescape. And of course, for the tea party, you have to be dressed up. So I put this necklace that had belonged to my mother I played with as a child. And since Alice was a child, I figured it was fitting. And this necklace has been through a lot of playing. It's even broken where the clasp was because I guess some little girl played with it too much and broke it. It has earrings too, but one of the earrings is missing. I can't imagine what that little girl might have done with it. I wished I had it. And what is Alice in Wonderland, right, without the cake? And I'm just so excited how it turned out. And with every tablescape I do, I always like to have a throw at the end of the table. I just think it makes the tablescape look complete regardless of what my tablescape is. So, let's get a view again. I was just thrilled with the way it came out, considering I had absolutely nothing to begin with. So we have to use our imagination and our creativity and create things we can't even imagine that we would create. It was really fun making the clock plates. It was a little bit tedious because I'm not real big on my Roman numerals. So I would forget where I was. <laughs> So they were kind of funny looking, um, but I did it and I met the challenge. I think I did anyway. And I hope you enjoyed this video. See you in the next video. Alice in Wonderland. Here is, as promised, here is my first plate that I was trying to figure out how to place the Roman numerals and where to place them. And as you can see, let's see where my finger is, here I had the Roman numerals wrong, so my oldest son came in and he said, what are you doing? And I was explaining to him I was making my clock, and he said, well, mom, you got the numbers all wrong. I said, what do you mean? So he corrected me on my numbers, so I scratched them out, and then he was like, it's one, two, three, so I put a one, two, three, and then I stopped and then here on the ends, instead before I did the border, I was going to put the little lines, you know how you have on the clock for the actual minutes and so forth. But just putting these four lines, I was thinking this is not going to work. This is not going to be a good idea. And that's when it came to me to do the border around it. But I thought it was just a little bit of whimsy that this is how I started with my Roman numeral clock. <laughs> All right. See ya.